Today, I'm gonna talk about my morning skincare routine first, and then in another video, I will share with you my evening skincare routine. So my morning skincare routine is very basic and very straightforward, but I try as much as I can to do very little, but I don't know if this is very little for you, but I think it's very little. I've watched a lot of skincare videos and a lot of people do too much and it, they don't see it as too much. So don't come up to me, this is what I do and it works for me so let's just do that so when you go to bed in the evening your face is very relaxed it's rejuvenated because you're sleeping your body organs are working or your body is just fashioning pretty much at its best so you're able to do so much in the evening but in the morning i tend to use two different cleansers and i use these same cleansers in the evening as well there's nothing different like i just do the same thing okay so in the morning i first go ahead and cleanse my face with this product this product is from elf yes elf and this is a cleanser with oat milk a lot a long time i don't please pardon me if i'm not able to pronounce these words correctly but i will put a video of this on the page where you guys see what i'm talking about and it has niacinamide I love niacinamide because it's actually known to be like this agent that helps in taking care of dark spots and I sometimes have acne. Anytime they go, they leave a little bit of black spots on my face and I've been trying to work on this for the longest so I had to find a cleanser that was actually gonna work when it comes to that and i chose this cleanser because well, i think i watched a video on youtube and this dermatologist talked about it it's very inexpensive even though the product is inexpensive i make sure that it still gets the work done and if you're on this channel this channel is all about being our best self without rubbing the bank or going broke just to look good i use this cleanser in the morning and i just you know pump a little bit in my hand i make sure my face is wet and then I pump a little bit of this cleanser and then, you know, I apply it on my face in a circular motion. I use a 60 seconds rule for cleansing the face because I feel like it helps you to cleanse the face very well. It gives you ample time to cleanse the face very well. So if you are not using the 60 seconds rule when it comes to washing your face, please inculcate that into your regimen and thank me later. So I use this cleanser first. And the second cleanser that I use is a Cetaphil um, Daily Facial Cleanser. I love this cleanser so much. It does, it just does the work for me. I love this, it's very gentle. Like if you have a sensitive skin, please try this. It's also good for oily skin. It's actually good for all the skin types. So it's good for combination to oily and sensitive skin. I have an oily skin, like especially within my nose area. And then sometimes around my eyebrow area, I tend to, you know, have some oils. So I use this cleanser and it works for me. So we are done with cleansing our face, okay? So that is out of the way. One thing I do after cleansing my face is instead of me wiping my face with a tissue or a towel, I use a fan. So I put this fan on and then I just use this to dry my face. Instead of using a towel or a tissue or whatever i just use this but sometimes when i am in a hurry especially in the morning when i'm i didn't wake up early to start you know my facial routine and i'm in a hurry i just use tissue sometimes sometimes i just go against the rule but if i have time i just dry my face using this fun this is very inexpensive i got it from amazon very 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 cheap don't give yourself any excuse just get it and We've spoken about cleansers. Now that we are done talking about what I use to cleanse my face, let's talk about the toner that I use to get my face refreshed and moisturized before we hop on to the next step. The toner that I use is from e.l.f. This is a toner that I use. This has the same um, kind of ingredients that they have in their cleanser. So this is a toner that I use after I cleanse my face. I love how it's very calm on my face. I have a very sensitive skin, so I'm very particular about the kind of things that I use on my skin. And this toner does an amazing job on my face. And one more thing, it is very inexpensive. You can afford it. You don't have to rob the bank to get this product. The fact that the product is not expensive does not mean it does not work. No, that is a wrong ideology. Some products are very expensive. They don't do nothing. However, there's an exception to every rule 
but this works for me so if you try it and it works for you you know that's good we are done talking about toners we are done talking about cleansers let's move on to the serums that i use on my face I'm so excited to talk about the serums that I use because yeah so the serums that I use I use two different types of serums on my face I use vitamin C and I use niacinamide so I use this brand which I recently got I've just used this for like four days now I use it morning and evening I've just been using this for four days now and if I tell you the change that I've had on my face you will not believe it right now on my face i don't have so much makeup on it's very minimal i just have my eyebrows done i have a little bit of lash on i have my lips done and that's it i just have powder on my face there's no foundation there's no concealer this is my face okay and this this product let me just take it out of the box for you guys to see how it looks like okay so this is the Mela B3 Serum from La Roche Posay. I don't know if I pronounce it correctly, but please don't come after me. This is the type of niacinamide that I use on my face. I use this every morning and evening. I just put a little drops on my face and then I pat it in my skin. I don't rub it on my face. I just, you know, do a little bit of parting on my face, like, you know, just to allow the product to sink through my skin and you know just allow my skin to receive the goodness of this product i love 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 this i know it's too early for me to give a review about something i've just used for four days but trust me it is working wonders i always forget to take a before picture i'll learn to do better next time but the reason why i am hailing the serum is because i knew what my face was looking like i knew how my face was looking like and the serum has just brought life and rejuvenation onto my face and i would recommend it it's very you know calm on my face i don't have i don't tend to have any um brushes or any bombs or nothing but from the videos that i watched some people reacted differently to it but my face loves this and that is why i am you know recommending it and that's why i have it in my routine the second serum that I use is definitely another um, serum from La Roche Posay and this is the vitamin C serum and I forgot to mention it has 10% vitamin C and then the um, this one the niacinamide or the Mela B3 has 10% um, niacinamide and my face can handle it so yeah but the other serum, this particular one, I love it. I love, 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 love this serum because it has done wonders on my face. I can tell the difference now. My face is, you know, popping and all of that and all of that and all of that. <laughs> okay. And this I use right after I use it. I use um this serum. And when I put serums on my face, I wait for like maybe five minutes before I apply the other one because I just want my face to be able to take the goodness of the product before i add on another one even though it's from the same brand it does not matter just allow your face to take on that goodness so this is the next serum the vitamin c serum that i use and i watched this video and then they were like when you're applying serums apply the one that you want to solve a particular problem for you apply that one first before you go on with the other one i am working on hyperpigmentation and i'm also working on dark spots so this particular one is for dark spots so i use this one first and then the vitamin c serum is just you know give me the glow make sure my skin my face looks even and you know bright and you looking good and that's why i use this secondly and when i do that i allow the serum to sit on my face for an average of 10 seconds or like you know just some few seconds before i go on and apply my face cream so what face cream do i use onto the face cream that i use i use this as my face cream this product is from fair and white the fact that the name of the brand is called fair and white does not mean it's gonna you know bleach because i don't look bleached do i no no 
no bleach no bleach my skin looks the same yeah because i'm not about bleaching my skin or doing anything all of that it's not worth it i don't do that but just to clarify the fact that the name of the brand is friend why doesn't mean it's a bleaching cream no but this is what i use for my face this particular one i love 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 this i have an oily skin so i don't want to use any product that's so um you know too oily i recently got this i've had this for like almost three weeks now and this is how it looks like let me just come closer for you guys to see the texture of it so this is the texture of it let me put a little bit on my hand for you guys to see how it feels so this is the face cream that i use on my face this is how it feels you see that yeah so this is what i use on my face should black people wear sunscreen yes or no let me know your opinion below and let me know the reason why you think you should or should not wear sunscreen one more thing that i use on my face i feel like this is something you do not need to skip especially when right now we are in the summer season and the sun is scorching the heat and all of that you do not want to skip your sunscreen yes do not skip sunscreen this is the sunscreen that i use but i'll definitely want to try a new one i don't really like how this feels on my skin it makes my skin feel so i don't know the right word to use but i don't i love that it gives it does the work yes it does the work and i have this in the 50 broad spectrum yes the highest one they have 30 they have um at 30 50 35 i'm not sure but this is the highest that i i have i have the 50 one so this is what i put on my face i apply it all over my face around my neck area because the sun is not about to play so i do not want to be a victim of it you understand so i do not leave out my sunscreen i do this all the time and one more thing your lip balm so this one has spf 50 plus on it i hope you guys can see it this is what i use usually in the morning because it has you know spf i'm trying to protect my lips from the sun rays you know mm -hmm. i do all of that yes 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 so this is my simple morning care routine very simple very basic i don't do too much i don't need to rub the band to look cute to take care of my skin if you enjoyed this video please do not forget to like this video because it helps the youtube algorithm to recommend my videos to a lot of people like you who wants to take their skincare journey to a new level so please like leave a comment subscribe if you haven't and join the family and i'll see you all in my next video if you want me to do my even skincare routine let me know in the comment section and i will definitely do that for you because of course we are all here to learn and we want to level up our skincare and if you're all about that then this channel is for you see you all in my next video bye